Hello! I'm currently making a little video to show how I'm currently working as a developer or programmer with a little web application I'm currently building for me as a teacher. So in this video I would just like to show you the process of uh, how I am currently working. Uh, yeah, so I use ChatGPT or Claude uh, as my main uh, LM inspiration or helper. Um, in ChatGPT, I have created my own GPTs, which are experts on the area I'm working on. Uh, for now, I have uh, this Svelte kit. This is the project I'm working on, and this is the expert on that field. But you don't have to use a GPT, it works without them you just get a little better replies because I've specified how I want the code replied to me when I ask questions. So now I will show you the application I'm working on. So this is a home page where I can see my classrooms and later I will be able to get more information and data in the way I want to have that data. But right now, this is a home page where me as a teacher can log in and then I can view my available classrooms. So that's the only functionality. It connects to Google Classroom and retrieves everything to show on my own personalized page. But what I wanted to show in this video is how I can change something about this page just by using uh, ChatGPT or the different LLMs and my own tool to communicate with them. So in this video, or in this page, I have a logout text up in the right corner. And uh, I would like this logout text to be under the image, not to the right of the image, so to speak. So if I press the logout button, a blue uh, button will appear. And I would like the login and logout to be under under the image or the icon, so to say. So what I will do now is I will go to ChatGPT and then I will just specify this. So, and I use the voice for almost everything right now. So I press record. I'm currently working on a web application where me as a teacher will be able to log in and log out. If I'm logged in, I can see my classrooms. But what I want to work on right now is up in the right corner, I have a log out text if I'm logged in, which I can press on. And if I do that, I will log out. Then I have a blue log in with Google Classroom button. Instead of having these two buttons separate, I would like them to be under the icon of my profile. So if I press on my profile image, a little menu will appear where I will have the option to log in if I'm logged out. And if I'm logged out, I will have the option to log in. Do you understand? Here is my entire code and structure for the project. So this here right now was my prompt and I can read it. Press record, I'm currently working on a web application as a teacher. Yeah, it's probably okay. Now I'll, I'll get the code for my entire project. And for this, I will use my own developed extension in this code editor. It's called Syntax Extractor. What I'm interested in is this folder here, which is have all all the different files for my project. But I don't care about the code. I just retrieve the folder structure. And then I retrieve the entire code. And now I have the question or the prompt and I have the entire code. And now I press enter. And now, um, thanks to this GPT, I will get all the code back to me so I can just paste it in. 
And I will pause right now. And then we will see when the code has uh, finished uh, being written. Okay, now the code has been generated. So what I do now is I go to the top and then I see here where I need to paste this code. So I just press copy the code. I go over and then I look here and I have to paste this code inside of this file. So that's this here. There was no change in this code. And then we have roots.layout. So I copy this code. And then I go down here and I have to copy this code. Yeah, and now I got some errors. In this layout svelte, for example, I got a component can only da da da. I take these two, I copy them, I just paste them in. And then it explains to me whatever it is the error. So now it rewrites the entire layout here. I don't really care about the code. I just know what I want and uh, this code will uh, create that for me. And then I copy. And I got some more arrows here, visible element. So I copy them. And sometimes this process back and forth can be a little bit, a little bit tedious. Um, and usually I also like to read what was wrong and, and how you need to change this because I like to learn. Um, but right now I just want to show you how I kind of work to develop my application. I copy this here again. Now the errors are gone. And now I look at the web page. I have an internal error, so I try to reload the page. Um, I might need to break this and then run it again. Okay. Now I have an internal error, which is a little bit more complicated. Document is not defined. So right now I'm copying this. And then I say um, currently, currently my page is not loading. Why? Then I give it the error message. And now it explains that it's the document object. And here I like to learn, learn like the issue is the document is not available during server side rendering. This can be resolved by making sure that the code that uses document only runs on the client side. So, okay, client side, server side, interesting, interesting. The issue is, hmm? let's see if it can fix the issue. So, okay, and we go to the layout, we paste it in. Now it has the home page. Now it works. We have the button up here to the right, and here we have a logout. So we press that. Now we're logged out. So that part of the code works right now, but we still have this blue button which is log with login with Google Classroom, and that button I would like to have. Uh, on the profile image, right? Log out. Yeah. 
And here I already detect a problem because we cannot have the profile image if we're not logged in. So we must have this button. But we instead of having this login with Google Classroom button, we will want just like the circle, which is the same size with the, the Google icon or something. So we will do something like that. this. Okay, for the blue button, log in with Google Classroom, I would like a circle that's white instead with the exact same size of the login when I'm logged in to Google Classroom. Create this for me. So now I ask this question. <clears throat> and this, you can debate like, is this really coding? Am I learning to code by just copy pasting? I think I am because I have to think about things like this. Okay, so I cannot have a profile image if I'm not logged in. So how do I solve that problem? Instead of having this blue button, I would like to have a circle of the same size on the same position. I did not specify this in the request here. Um, but see if it solves it anyhow. Okay. I usually read this because I'm interested, but right now I just want to solve the problem. Always check what file you're coping. So this is the file. Yes. And then we go to the page. Now we can see we are logged in. So we log out. Now we see we have a Google icon in the exact same place. So we press on it and then we are, now we can log in. And now we can log out. So this is exactly what I wanted instead of the previous uh, button. And I haven't written a single line of code. I haven't even cared about looking at the code. So there's probably errors and I experienced some errors, but um, I believe we, would, we will just talk about our problems and what kind of solutions we want in the future. And the code is not that important because we just want to figure things out. And I understand that right now I'm simplifying this. Maybe I have a little bit of more experience in this field that I'm working in. So it's easier for me to ask these kind of questions, but still there's something here which actually enables anybody to just specify what they want, follow the instruction, create what they want, and then uh, iterate, uh, ask new questions, ask questions on what goes wrong and what goes right and what you want to achieve. So this is the current way I'm coding. I'm using this tool, which I have created myself with ChatGPT uh, some months ago to get all code because ChatGPT needs to know about this code to be able to help me with the code, so to say. There are built-in tools like this in, in, in uh, this ed editor, for example, we have the GitHub Copilot. But this approach is so much better because ChatGPT, I have this GPT set up, which knows what I want and caters to my needs, so to say. So this is how I'm working currently. I'm talking a lot uh, to a microphone to generate the questions or the prompts. And uh, I use my own tools to uh, get all the code so I can ask good questions about it. And if you would like to have this extension in VS Code, you can just write my surname and uh, you can download it and you can use it for your own project if you want to. But yeah, perfect. Now I have this uh, login, log out, much more uh, smaller in, in the right corner, which I wanted and not so intrusive. And uh, the functionality, which I had before, seems to be the same. So yeah, just wanted to show you how I program now, nowadays. And this might prob will probably change a lot in the coming months and so. Uh, because ChatGPT or other LLMs are developing so quickly. But right now, this is how I work. Uh, thank you very much and uh, have a great day. Bye-bye.